Hey everybody, it's Faith from Fireside Terror. Hope everybody's well. Slowly coming back into the world. It's been a rough few weeks. I haven't been doing so good health-wise. And at my regular job, I have to deal with people. And sometimes dealing with people can be extremely draining. And as much as I try to not absorb negative energy... It's just super hard at my job. So sometimes I'll just get home and I'll be like, I don't want to deal with anything. I, I can't do it. I can't do it. I, I have to like cleanse. I have to cleanse. So I took a couple weeks and I cleansed. And <laughs> I, I feel like I'm coming back. But anyway, Capricorn, we're going to rock it out for you for April 2022. Get the deck woke up here. See what comes out for you. If you're new here, welcome. Thanks for stopping by. Anything you need to know about this video is down in the description box below. If you're returning, welcome back. Thanks for stopping back by. Maybe? No. Oh, you. Okay. Five of Swords in the reverse. That is super shady. Okay, we're tipping down. Running it. <clears throat> that annoying. Super annoying. Slightly better. Okay. Alright. Ooh, it split at the three of swords reversed. Five of cups reversed is at the bottom of the deck, and I gotta shuffle it like this because these cards are just bent to all get out. And to bring this up real quick. I do not have a post office box to send things to. So um, I'm going to be getting to that within the next couple of weeks. There was a couple of people who wanted to send me some decks <laughs> because they felt bad that my decks are just so, so well loved and so well worn. But yes, I will be getting to that within the next couple of weeks. And also in regards to personal readings, um, I've had to close myself off to that at this time. Because just so much energy and just, yeah, I, I, I can't do it right now. I can't do it. I will let you guys know when those open back up though. So dress these real quick. Have some of you been super patient with somebody you've known for a while? I feel like somebody has been super patient with someone because they've known them for so long, but I feel like things just kind of blew up. I feel like things were going on. Prince of Pentacles. Okay. Some of you have something new coming in. All right. All right, one more good shuffle. We're going to throw them down. Wrapping something up. Three ones reversed, walking away from the dock. Walking away from the dock, wrapping it up. Not saying anything else. Not saying anything else. Not saying anything else. <laughs> not saying it. I'm going to zip my lip until the rest of these cards come out because this feels like judgment day, y'all. <laughs> this feels like judgment day. Which is super great. I did, oh gosh, who did I do yesterday? Aries and Cancer, I think. I'd have to look. I'd have to look at my notes. Those will be uploaded this evening. And it's very similar vibes coming off of everybody. Just People are just over it at this point, I feel like. So... I think, the, you know, the change in the zodiac year, and, which is when I celebrate New Year's, by the way. I celebrate it when Aries rolls back around, because that's just the year for me. So, all right. Let's see if we get a flyer. Let me shut my pie hole. Sorry, I tend to babble, especially when I'm tired. And I worked 11 hours today at my regular job, so. Probably get another cup of coffee in me at some point. Oh, hi. 
Are you done? Lovers. Oh. Okay. 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 I know why you're over it now. Totally know why you're over it. Torn between two lovers. Okay. Super patient. Somebody was super patient. Okay. Hermit reversed. They're hiding things. They're trying to hide it. Somebody's trying to hide their somebody, somebody's trying to hide things. is kind of super secretive. Wands, Seven of Cups. It kind of came out of nowhere, didn't it? This came out of nowhere. Did it really come out of nowhere? Why do I have the feeling that for some of you, you saw it coming because you've been so patient. And for some of you, it totally just kind of blew your mind. But there's a choice to make. And with choices, there, there's, there's repercussions and there's consequences. All right. The wheel. We'll talk about the wheel on your side for a second, Capricorn. What's going on with this wheel? What's up with the wheel? Wheel of Fortune talks about endings and new beginnings. Talks about the closing of cycles. Three wands versed again. Over it. Mm. All right, here's, here's how you feel about them. King of Pentacles reversed. The King of Pentacles and the upright, he, he, that's, that's the one you marry. That's the provider. That's the rock. In the reverse, not so much. Basically, the King of Pentacles in the reverse is completely full of crap. Just throwing that out there. <laughs> completely full of crap. They are not what they presented themselves to be, be it male, female, whatever. Death. Death. Knight of Swords reversed. Knight of Swords reversed don't talk much. They're hiding something. They're blocking you out. This is death cycle shit. They're hiding something. I think some of you feel like it's been going on for a minute. Ace of Cups reversed. Done dump the cup. Done dump the cup. All right. How you feel about them is the five of wands. That's the ultimate confrontation. That's like possibly a little bit more than an exchange of words. Five of swords reversed again. They're avoiding confrontation.
Five speak of change. They're right there in the middle. They speak of change. Temperance. I'm trying to keep it kosher. I'm trying to keep it kosher. Keep it cool. Keep it calm. Keep it flowing. Keep the sun shining rainbows. It's the avoidance of confrontation. Just trying to keep it positive. Keep it mellow. Two of swords. Two of swords. Two of swords. Hi. How you doing? Oh, three of you? Really? Four of you. Oh, shit. Okay. I'll take four. Ten of cups, ten of wands, seven of swords reversed, and the moon. On top of a two of swords. You know, give me one more. Give me one more. Give me one more. Eight of cups. Two of swords indicates difficult decision. A decision that is not being made lightly. No matter what sword falls something gets cut out. It's going to be painful. Kind of, it's going to suck. It's what happens right before the three of swords. The pain, the heartache. Hold on a second. My, my son's playing, um, his game a little bit too loud. Hold on. The guttural boss and whatever game he's playing was just very distracting for a second. Okay. So 10 of cups, t it, Tens are endings, guys. They're endings. The ten wands is the release of the burden. The, the ten cups is, you know, the end of a happy cycle. And I feel like this, this is an ultimatum. Either you come at me with the truth, seven of swords reversed... And, you know, let the moon set and the sun rise and shed some light on some things or I'm walking away. I'm walking away. Let me talk about judgment in a minute. All right. They got a lover's card and an eight of swords. They anxious about something. They anxious about something. Talk to me about this eight of swords, please. Oh, hi. Huh? Five of Cups reversed, Eight of Pentacles reversed, Nine of Cups, Four of Swords, and the Four of Wands reversed. They don't want to go to that sad place. It's the avoidance of the sad place. It's the avoidance of the slamming of the door and all the pointless effort. Oh, wow. Oh, wow. Holy hell. Okay. They don't want that door to shut. They don't want that door to shut. They want to avoid that ocean of tears at all costs. It's... The avoidance of the painful emotions that go along with it. Two of Wands. This is how they feel about you. Two of Wands. They know you're at a crossroads. They know it's decision time. They know you've already let go. <laughs> Empress reversed. It's go or grow right now. And they know that. Will of Fortune reversed. Two of Wands again. It's grow or go. Grow or go. And they know it. Four Cups reversed is what they think of you. Four Cups reversed. That usually indicates something being ignored. In the upright, it's the contemplation. In the reverse, it's the, I don't even want to freaking deal with it. 
Three swords. It's oh, and the fool. Hi, the fool. I have a feeling like they know they're about to get told to kick rocks. I just, I just have this feeling they're hiding something from you. They're, they're hiding something from you. Because they got a decision to make, too. I don't know how involved it is. It could be just talking stages. Just talking, 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 talking. Just talking. Talking about this Ace of Pentacles reversed for their intended actions. Reversed. Queen of Wands reversed. Ooh, Six of Wands reversed. And the Knight of Wands reversed. Capricorn, is it too little too late? Is it too little too late? Why the Queen of Wands? Why the Queen of Wands? Why is the Queen of Wands reversed? She's a little jaded. Knight of Cups. Nine, one reversed. Knight of Cups. Okay. Is it too little, too late? This feels like an admission of guilt. <laughs> it does. Stop my play of ways. Star at the bottom of the deck. That's positive. Maybe this can be healed. So is this judgment card a resurrection or a final judgment call? Talk to me about judgment. Ten pentacles reversed. Ace of pentacles reversed. Ten pentacles reversed. Now, you ain't walking down this road. That's fine. I'm judging McCall. That, that's, that's one more. You ain't walking down the road. You done waited long enough. You got to about seven pentacles and ran the F out of pentacles and said, you know what, I'm done. That's why this eight's upside down. The eight's upside down because you, you're not investing anymore. Lovers reversed. And the king of swords reversed. A little bit of a tood. Gotta watch that tood. Don't be so sharp with that sword. You gotta watch that tood. I mean, don't let it escalate. Don't say anything that you can't take back. But let's be my advent. Tower. Tower. It's like Jenga. <laughs> it's like Jenga. You pull the wrong block out and it all comes down. Watch the tude. If it's salvageable. I don't know if it is. I'm not here. I'm not a Capricorn. Okay. My Mars is in Capricorn. Alright, why the full reversed... 
Hanged Man reversed. Seven of Wands, that's somebody dealing with their inner demons. Nine of Pentacles and the Six of Swords, okay. That feels like a life lesson learned for them. It, it does. I mean, whatever comes out of this for them, that's going to stick with them for a minute. It's going to force them to, uh, well. Glow or go. <laughs> Grow up, glow up a little bit. Mm, sad state of affairs here, guys. All right, let's get a wisdom. Let's get a wisdom. I'm channeling, channeling. I get, I get weird when I channel, guys. I'm sorry. It just it feels weird. And someone says, "Aren't you supposed to be channeling?" <laughs> yes and no. I'm supposed to be reading cards and having a good time. Milk and honey. Five plus one is six. Six is what comes after the change. It's the leveling of the playing field. Mm, number 51. The taste of prosperity. Opportunities born of authenticity. Nurturing abundance. Trusting that your needs will be met. You've entered a sweet time in your life, enjoying the land of milk and honey that everyone wants to experience. It's an interlude that feels more languid than ambitious when all your senses are awake to the unlimited possibilities in the universe. These times are precious and only come when you're in an authentic zone, wearing the world as a loose garment, not wanting yet able to be nourished in ways both tangible and subtle. Abundance is an energy that you are living. You are a living, ugh. Abundance is an energy that you are a living part of. All your needs are being met. You are given the gift of nourishment in every form. Are your needs being met? Okay, here's a relationship message. Sensuality, connection, and passionate romance between lovers, sweet moments of understanding and love among friends and family are all here for you to savor now. Your heart's calling will be answered. Let your thoughts and feelings be sweet with gratitude and you will be nourished with the honey of abundance. Okay, so... If you pull the wrong Jenga block and it all falls apart and the tower comes down, you know what? Allow this, that moment, to nourish you. If that makes any sense to anybody, be grateful. Be grateful. Because sometimes those moments that hurt, when we have to make painful choices for our best for our souls and our peace, you gotta be grateful for those moments. Because when you close a door, another one opens. All right, Capricorn, know that you are loved to be blessed. Thanks for coming down and hanging out. And I will catch you next time, whatever next time may be. All right, take care. I send you off with peace, love, and light, friends. Bye for now.